Greetings, Internet, and welcome to another episode of A Comedy Musician Reacts. My name is Insane Ian. I am a comedy musician and comedy music fan, and this week I am reacting to three new songs by Tom Cardi. And probably next week I'm doing the exact same thing, because holy crap, this guy's output. He does a lot. This week I'm reacting to his three most recent songs, Mind Fight, One Person Tent, and Big Night. Uh, these are short songs, relatively, because usually they're TikToks. They're usually about a minute and 40, almost two minutes. I don't think there's any one that's really over two and a half minutes. But, uh, yeah. But if this is your first time seeing these uh, reactions by me, hello, welcome. I'm a comedy musician. I try to react to these from the perspective of somebody who also does comedy music, which means that I do pause a lot to discuss it. Sometimes I talk about the creation of the music video and the kind of things that they do in the video to kind of enhance the comedy. Sometimes it's just talking about the songs. And sometimes all of that goes out the window and I just kind of gush over how much I enjoy the tune and the person making it. it happens a lot with Stupendium. It happens a lot with Tom Cardi. But regardless of all of that, if you do enjoy these kind of videos and enjoy my kind of breakdowns that I do, I also am a comedy musician myself, as I said. Got a new album out called Illinois. It's available in all the things. So, you know, go check it out, please. And of course, like, share, comment, subscribe if you want to help out the channel. And if you really want to help out the channel, check out my Patreon at patreon.com slash insaneian. All of the shameless pluggery is out of the way now. And we're going to dive in with the first song, Mind Fight which is the most recent one. This just came out a couple days ago uh, when I recorded this. But yeah, let's check it out. Yo, motherfucker, did you just bump me? It doesn't take much to make me angry. So coming in hard at the top, uh, <laughs> something about Tom's uh, songs that, that I really enjoy. Yes, I'm nine seconds in and I've paused already. Yeah, that's the kind of thing that I do. Um, they're all, like, the the electronic instrumentation is always very peppy and catchy. And it's, he's got this very big Flight of the Concord style to his delivery, which I think is also great. But it ends up, all of his songs are, all of them, every last one of them, a friggin' bop. So, I, I have no doubt in my mind that these will be the same. But uh, I already see where the song is going. It's called Mind Fight. And he's talking about getting into an altercation with someone. Bumping into him already. Doesn't take a genius. Alright. Yo, motherfucker, did you just bump me? It doesn't take much to make me angry. Bumping the man ain't never free. It's gonna cost you one apology. Can <laughs> I play it cool? No apology. Am I the fool? Bad choice, buddy guy. Better buckle up, cause we're about to... Busting out the crane style from Karate Kid with the... Yeah, okay. They're, uh, yeah, this is exactly where I was gonna say. It's getting into a fight. A mind fight. Uh, as far as his video production, all his videos, with some exceptions, like the one I did last week for his bad guy parody, uh, tend to be shot in cell phone format, uh, the the vertical format as opposed to horizontal, uh, because that's how you watch videos on TikTok, and primarily he releases things on TikTok and then transfers them over to his YouTube channel. Um, so yeah, all the videos tend to be like that. Um, I don't think that's a bad thing, because he clearly films them on his phone, edits them separately from the TikTok app, and then just puts them on the TikTok. Uh, and then on YouTube, and then various other things that he does. I said the TikTok, like I'm 90. Um, yeah, uh, you still have, he still has video production going on with his songs, but most of his videos do tend to be f him filming in his studio, where his couch and his keyboards and his drums and whatnot are, but him bouncing all over that room, filming in that location. It's fun. I, I think it's it's an interesting choice, and he kind of made his own aesthetic be that. Seven hours later in my mind, when 
I'm lying in bed, imagining ways I could make you dead. So... <laughs> So the fight is not a literal mind fight where two people combat mentally. He's only fighting him in his mind seven hours later. It's like, it's super relatable because it's like, it's that it's that thing where you, you felt like you could be the altercation. You could have a fight with somebody, but you didn't say something because you're like, I don't like conflict in real life, so I'm going to not let this turn into a fight, but I'm going to sit and think about it into the late hours of the evening and think of all the things I could have said and could have done and how I could have punched them, but not really did that happen that way. We all do that. We all do that. If you don't say you do that, you're lying. I got really aggressive there and I'm sorry. All right. Fighting in my imagination. Mind <laughs> fights always start the same. You bump into me and make fun of my name. I didn't say my name, and no one told you my name, but you know my name, and you bully You'll me. You'll regret that. <laughs> it's oh, it's the stupidest things that become the most relatable. Because yeah, yeah, we all we all do something similar to this, whether it be a phys thinking of a physical fight or cats fighting outside my door. I don't know if my microphone picked that up. Uh, but yeah, you know, if it's, if it's an argument that you wish you had, like if I had only had the courage to say something and, and the altercation would have ended differently or, or, you know, somebody was bullying me and I didn't stand up for myself and think about it hours later, what you could have done. It's always, whether it's a, a physical fight or, 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 or an argument that doesn't go your way, they all, a lot of people do dwell on those things to kind of build through it. It's, I, I love comedy that's relatable, is what I'm saying. I know I said that same thing earlier in the video, but it, yeah, words. I'm out of practice for this, guys. I took a couple weeks off and trying to get back into the swing of things. Whatever, it's fine. We're all friends here. Fun of my name, I didn't say my name, and no one told you my name, but you know my name, and you bully me. You'll regret that. What's that? The girl I have a crush on is here, and you do something like maybe you push her. I don't know why, you're just a bad guy, but a crowd has formed, so I better stand up for her. Big crowd, but within it, I see my dickhead boss and ex girlfriend Stacy, her new boyfriend, my therapist too, and they're all real impressed that I'm standing up to you. Just all the people that you want to impress, and all the people that have wronged you in the past that you want to make them see that, yes, I'm actually really cool and a good person. Yeah, it hits home. <laughs> and also, he's doing this whole part of the video in his mind, so his eyes are closed, he's doing the, cu the, the cinematic thing of when I'm concentrating, I'm pointing at my head. And... <laughs> So he's even playing the instruments with the eyes closed, but with one hand here. Like he's Charles Xavier in the X-Men movies. I can move something with my mind, but I have to touch my head to make sure that I can do that. Uh, cinematic ways of acting, I suppose. I don't know what this voice suddenly was. It's fine. I, I love it. <laughs> In his mind, it's Mortal Kombat. <laughs> it's so perfect. Again, that's with, with his weird video production of it being all in the one room. He mentions going into the shower and suddenly he's just standing there in a towel and actually with soap suds on him. <laughs> you got to admire the commitment to low budgetness, you know? <laughs> I, I dig that kind of thing. I dig that, that kind of weird attention to detail in production when singing about something. And because like I've said in before, that's important with video production with comedy songs. You want the song, you want the video to elevate the comedy of the words, but not detract from the lyrics or the vocals too much because the visual is something so distracting in that way, like having a lot of text reading a joke, have it be in a place where there's not lyrics so that you're not 
trying to listen to the words and also read different words that are on the screen. You want them to be separate. Uh, and and having him be dressed the way he would be in the shower after getting out of the shower and talking about thinking about in the shower is a good correlation. And it's also a funny visual of suddenly he's in a room that is clearly not a shower and he's still working on the song and talking about it and just being in a towel. It's great. It's great. While I'm taking a shower, I got to feed you in any hour. What's wrong? Piss your pants. I don't need no therapy. I get my closure from my fantasy. <laughs> Nathan, Love. stop daydreaming or I will fire you, mate. Do you want to get fired, champion? No, I don't want to get fired. Sorry, what was that? Speak I up. I said I don't want to get fired, please. That's what I thought. <laughs> Can I have a mind fight with him? Mind fight. Yep. So damn catchy. So damn catchy. Every song, a, a certified bop. So that was Mind Fight. Uh, wow. Man, see, I, I, I gush so much over it because it seems so effortless to make such a catchy song and have it be so funny and relatable that uh, it's, it's, it's something I aspire to with my own music and it's something that I enjoy seeing in other artists as well. So that's super fun. Next, we have One Person Tent. You can only imagine what this is about. I'm kidding. It's, it's about a one person tent. Anyway. More real piano sound rather than electronic. I don't want to make things weird. But I remember just what you said And I'm starting to think that you lied to me When you said you bought a two-person tent <laughs> It's just not the case Because your feet are stuck up in my fucking face <laughs> I hope you know where the receipt went For this obviously one-person tent this is a very Flight of the Concord sounding style song. Because uh, they they tend to go back and forth through different musical styles themselves. But just the, the way the verses are layered and, and just kind of the melody itself kind of sounds reminiscent of some of their songs that kind of start a little slower and more acoustic and whatnot. And also, uh, I hope you know where the receipt went. Went rhyming with tent in the chorus there with the for to return this one person tent it, it's it's a simple rhyme but at the same time it's kind of genius in the way that it's inserted in there and makes it seem more like their style of writing too i know he's a big fan of them he covered their song carol brown which we reacted to once before there is a playlist at the end of this of all the different tom cardi songs i've reacted to uh, cuz it's been enough that it requires a playlist now but uh, I, I enjoy the structure of this. I've been listening to some Flight of the Concords again recently. And this is, uh, this is very reminiscent of their style. To me, anyway. To my ears. Give face. I hope you know where the receipt went. For this obviously one person did. You see, sometimes they use a picture of two people when there's really just room for one. Cause the people in the picture are very small children And you are very tall <laughs> Wow! Number one, that's hilarious Because I was expecting him to say tall But tall doesn't rhyme with one um, Because they say very small children And I wasn't expecting it to rhyme with the previous line Because, you know, you are very tall These children are very small But... You know, he was saying two people and you are clearly one. Rhyming with dumb is a slant rhyme, but still. Uh, that was already great, but also his harmonizing with himself in that section, giving it almost this choral rise uh, in the production is fantastic. That's a, that's another thing. His, his music production is always top quality, and it's clear that he does it all himself because um, he's there playing all the instruments and everything. But uh, yeah, that was that was a really nice uh, moment and really funny too. You're a very small children and you are very tall. The four 
for karma. I'm sorry that I called you dumb. <laughs> and I'm sorry that I did it in harmony to. <laughs> I was just pointing out how it's four-part harmony. <laughs> and self-aware humor, again, is something else that I really enjoy. Meta humor is a big thing for me. But self-aware humor is, is very nice because, you know, you know something is funny. You've just laughed at the funny thing. And then him pointing out the... Pointing it out is also self-aware. And I always find that kind of thing funny. That's so good. We're gonna hear we're gonna hear that 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 gorgeous harmony again. Wow. So good. I'm sorry that I called you dumb. And I'm sorry that I did it in harmony. To and harmonizing be honest, harmony. I'm not that mad. <laughs> I'm just a little scared of intimacy Ooh. I know it was not your intent come tomorrow I will Ten. miss the feeling of your nose against my leg <laughs> we'll return it in the morning but tonight we are meant for this obviously one person tell <laughs> <laughs> the slow blink at the end uh, I love the way he ends videos because it's always like with like almost a, a non-expression staring at the camera, just like okay, I'm done now. What you know? It's I I dig that. <laughs> it just strikes me as funny. Uh, rhyming intent with tent is not a great rhyme, but it's funny because it's about tents. So. Uh, MC Lars has a song called Summer Camp Love is Real Intense because it's real in tense instead of intense. I know it sounds the same, but words in a tent at, with plural, so intense, but also intense, like not two words, one word, intense, something being intensely weird. Sure, there, I've explained it now very goodly because I am with the words speaking fine moving on to the next song this is big night the third of three that we're reacting to this week three more coming next week of tom cardi's uh two more recent songs and one song that is from his actual album that i uh never got to uh reacting to on this channel many people have asked for that one so that's coming up it's not uh have you checked your butthole because I've heard that one numerous times. This is a businessman. But uh, that's next week. This is Big Night. That's this week. Yes. And also, I'm supposed to do a, a live stream at some point. Uh, I know I said in the previous video I was hoping to do it this coming Saturday, which would be tomorrow by the time you all see this video. I don't know if my schedule is going to work out for that. Sorry. So I'll. there's probably going to be a community message before I post this video but if you in case you didn't see that and only are hearing it through this sorry big night here we go and you're high on acid <laughs> and you want to go home but you can't go because your friends are here his costumes when he does costumes they're so minimalist and it's always just him not even shaved. Just so funny. Like, he shaved for the for the um, Naughty or Nice Christmas video. So Jeffrey the Elf was, was shaved, and some of the other characters who he was who Santa was saying were naughty uh, were clean shaven. Um, and some weren't. But uh, usually doesn't always do it because, you know, it takes time to get that glorious mustache back. But uh, the wig, the glasses, and yet you know, kind of a frilly shirt. Big, at least. And then just his regular shorts. <laughs> it's just... It's funny. To me. And, you're high on acid. and also, what a great you opening line. Home, you can't go. Because your friends are here. There's a Russian man. <laughs> and he's really angry. 
I don't even know who that was. <laughs> Somebody else playing instruments. Yeah, that's uh that's a lot of parties sometimes. Bitch. That instrumentation with like weird Pac-Man sounds in the background uh is fantastic. It's got a great groove to it. It's very funny. And also, again, as I've said before, with him just filming in just this room and the Russian dude appearing from behind the couch, raising up. And the, every time he introduces the Russian dude, the Russian dude's got a happy look until he says that he's angry and then his expression changes. It's just so funny to me. Uh, I don't know who the guy is, but he's been playing all of Tom's instruments, which is fun and funny. Uh, because... We were just talking about how he does all the things himself, and now in this video, someone else is doing them. All right, fine. It's it's fine. I'm sure. Strike a pose. Now you're out the gutter. <laughs> the stars are your friends. I'm tired. <laughs> Big night. The Russian man's back. And he's got his brother. <laughs> We've got split screen going on suddenly. <laughs> you get in their limo. It's a big night. It's a big night. So big. One of the biggest in It's a big night. <laughs> So many replicated people. Wow, that was uh, that was fantastic. Uh, not my favorite out of the three. Kind of a kind of a light one to end on, but uh, as you can see. High Five is next, but that's next week. Tune in then for more Tom Cardi reactions. And then after we get through those, I'll be jumping into some more requests from people that, uh, that a, a lot of people have actually been asking for, uh, including uh, Jazz Emu will be coming up. Um, and of course, also Dan Bull's uh, Broccoli Bars. Several people have requested that. Going to do some random encounters more and all sorts of other fun things that people have been suggesting. Thank you uh, for leaving those types of comments in the comments below. Again, if you'd like to help out the channel, you can join the Patreon. Just a dollar helps out, but if you want to get these videos early, uh, that's two dollars. You also get my music, uh, music videos before I release them, and so all sorts of other goodies as well. Uh, thank you all for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye. Now Elle is hunting me, he thinks that I'm the Kira I met a man, he's like me, only kind of weirder He likes coffee with the sugar man is in the sweets He's picking on the net, he's always in his bare feet So now I'm on the test force, trying to kick myself Living that double life, no one suspects me here but Elle And now I have a girlfriend, she has a death note too Started as a cubby